I feel like an Australian likes to drink. <laughs> to be honest, it really doesn't make sense to me. Like, I have no idea what is it. Australia is a crazy country, like wildlife and the people. I still want to visit. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tom from BuzzFeed Australia and I'm going to be testing Japanese people on how well they know some weird Australian facts. Okay, so what I know about Australia is that you guys have really crazy animals. Crocodile, kangaroos, koalas, that's it? <laughs> I, don't... I think that Australian people are outgoing and bright. There's lots of uh, good looking people, there's that. Most of like Australian people are like really good looking. <laughs> Okay, first question, how many feral camels are there in Australia? A, none, B, around 800, or C, over a million? Okay, first of all, I didn't even know you guys had camels, let alone having them be feral. None, A, I, I, I'll choose A, koala, alligators, kangaloos, that's it. That's all you guys have, I think. <laughs> no. I, sorry, that, that was rude. <laughs> I will go for C. Should we go in the middle, like, 800? Yeah, I'm good with 800 too. <laughs> and the answer is over a million. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, wow. One million. Really? Oh my god. Wait, how many people are there? Is it like uh, they they brought in Australia? Camels actually came to Australia when it was being colonized. Really? I, I didn't know that. They love Australia and they are just a very fast breeding population. <laughs> that's new, that's new. What is this? <laughs> to be honest, it really doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> like, I have no idea what is it. Why are you like dry cleaning it? <laughs> I think it's C, an Australian drinking game, because I knew Australian people drink a lot. So, yeah, I will go for C. <laughs> Australian drinking game. It looks like there's something inside, but why is it on this rope? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So this game is called Goon of Fortune, like Wheel of Fortune. How the game works is you attach a goon bag, which is a big bag of wine, to a healer's hoist, which is like a sort of spinning clothing line. You put it there and then you spin it around and you've got people evenly spaced around and whoever the bag lands closest to has to drink. Oh wow! <laughs> That sounds fun. <laughs> I bet you get hammered so fast. Yeah, that does sound fun. And in the bag, you've got a little tap thing where you can sort of squeeze it and you sort of have to drink it like this. <laughs> yeah, I want to try it when I come to Australia for sure because I love drinking. Yeah. That, that sounds fun. I want to do that. I knew Australians liked drinking, but like... <laughs> this is new. <laughs> All right, what is a drop bear? A, an Australian candy, B, a made-up Australian animal, or C, Australian slang for pooping? Ew! Australian slang for pooping? Pooping. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna drop bears. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Oh, it might be like gummy bears with alcohol in it. <laughs> is it like, is it like a sticky candy? It's actually B, an Australian made-up animal. Oh. <laughs> Making up animals. So what Australians like to do to sort of travellers and foreigners is when they come to Australia, just to sort of play a joke on them, they will tell them about, oh, just watch out for drop bears. Because travellers believe that there's such weird, creepy animals out in the Australian outback. So if you're travelling around Australia, someone will tell you to watch out for drop bears. No, yes. really? <laughs> Y'all are mean. <laughs> Yeah, if someone yeah. told me that, I, I will believe, like, oh really, they bears? Thinking candy, damn guys! <laughs> Alright, what happened to Prime Minister Harrod Holt when he went for a swim at Cheviot Beach in 1967? A. He disappeared and never returned. B. He surfed a 10 meter wave. Or C. He got in a fight with a shark. I think C is interesting. C. He got in a fight with the shark is like, funny story to tell. But recently, I read an article about a man fighting the shark in Australia, <laughs> so maybe it happened again? That will be cool. <laughs> he surfed a 
10 meter wave B. I think a, a shark attacked and then he attacked the shark back. Okay, the answer is A. He disappeared and never returned. A? He never returned from the sea and his body was never found. That's so dark! No one knows what happened to him. They never found his body. And uh, to this day, it's a, it's an Australian mystery. What? He disappeared in the baby Aww. It's so scary. Oh my goodness. That's so scary. Maybe he just like escaped from not being a prime minister. <laughs> Which animals did the Australian military wage a war against in 1932 and lose? Kangaroos, quokkas, or emus? Animal? Eh? Oh, fine. Like how people can fight with like animals. Eh, the kangaroo. Kangaroos? Kangaroos have really good powers and they are <laughs> dangerous in a way. Like they can jump and kick. <laughs> the answer is C, emus. What? <laughs> emus! <laughs> Why why this happened? Who made them mad? Did you guys throw a rock on these animals? It was in Western Australia, the emus were running amok and the Australian military was called in to sort of get rid of them. It's a sad day in Australian military history. Alright, so what is unique about the way people live in Cooper Pedy, an opal mining town? A, they only live there during opal season. B, some of them live underground. Or C, they don't have any cars. They live underground, don't they? Are they cannibals? They don't have cars. Instead, they have emus or something like that. They riding on the emus. I think it's B. Some of them live underground. It's cool. Oh, because it's hot. So they want it to be cool. The answer is B. Some of them live underground. Yay! Yay. <gasps> That's so pretty, oh, the pictures. Like, room is pretty. Oh, really? Oh! Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that's cool! Yeah. The town is so hot that it's just way cooler to live underground. That's actually a nice room. Like, I was thinking like, just dirt everywhere, but... I would want to live there. <laughs> I, wa I want to live there. <laughs> that sounds like a dwarf from the, you know, Hobbit. Okay, what percentage of Australians were born overseas? A, almost 2%, B, almost 30%, or C, almost 82%? I think it's C. Australia is like really diverse mm. country. Wait, let's go for C. Yeah, 82%. I feel like it's a trick question. Yes, there were like Aboriginal people, but like Australians? I don't think that's really a thing. 82%. Almost 82%. Okay, the answer is actually B, almost 30%. What? <laughs> oh, really? Almost 30%, yeah. Oh, okay, so like all my reasoning is just... The places of birth of the highest amounts are places like England, India, China, and New Zealand. Okay, this is a good one. What shape is wombat poo? Poop? Ew. Shape? A, hearts, B, cubes, or C, spirals. First of all, what is wombat? <laughs> Wait, wombat is a bird? No? I don't even know what a wombat is. Oh, they're cute! So cute! <laughs> Spiral. Spiral de. Spiral is like... Spiral de cool yatsu? It's like an ice cream machine. Star or heart. <laughs> that's, that'd be cute, like just little trails. <laughs> I wish the poop like shape in hearts. Let's believe in ourselves and go for a heart. And the answer is B cubes. And they're the only known species to produce such shape. Oh wow, cubes. Ha what? <laughs> oh cube, <Damn>. yeah! <laughs> like a chocolate. What is Vegemite created from? A yeast extract, B soy, or C cocoa? I hate Vegemite. Oh, sorry for people who live in Australia. <laughs> Is it good? Is it yummy? I I have it to be for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, she didn't like it. So I'm half British. I eat Marmite, and I'm pretty sure it says like yeast. <laughs> a yeast or a. And the answer is A, leftover yeast extract. Like I've only seen on like videos and stuff. So you spread it on bread or something, right? We have really like similar kind of products called natto. It's a good thing for breakfast as well. Okay, last question. What world record did former Australian Prime Minister Bob Hawke hold? A, he was the longest serving Prime Minister ever. B, he held the world record for the 400 meter swim. Or C, he held a world record for drinking beer really quickly. I feel like an Australian likes to drink. So I say it's C. Drinking beer very quickly. For being like the longest Prime Minister. <laughs> I wish the answer is C. <laughs> That's super cool. I don't think none of the prime minister in Japan did that. And the answer is C, of course, the drinking one. Yes! <laughs> really? <laughs> 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 Yeah. So, when he was a student at Oxford University, he sculled a yard of ale, which is 2.5 pints or 1.4 litres, in 11 seconds. Wow. Like, chugged it. What? That's crazy. How? 11 seconds? Wow. You guys are wild. Australian people are wild. <laughs> Having done this, I thought that Australia is a really interesting country. I really want to live in the opal mining. What I felt is that Australian people really love drinking, maybe. So. <laughs> we will be careful with drop bad. <laughs> I mean, I always saw Australia as a crazy country, both like wildlife and the people like drinking. So that hasn't changed. I still want to visit. Now, now I want to visit Australia because <laughs> Goon of Fortune, I want, I want to do that. <laughs>